Hey, Chad here with LearnMixReality.com and ChadCar.net, LearnHollowLens.com. And today, I just want to give you a real quick tip uh, when it comes to using Unity. And when you are setting up your own uh, scripts, so typically I'll come in here and say, okay, I want to create a new folder, and I'll call it a scripts folder. And then inside of here, I'll right click and say, create C Sharp script. And I'll say, you know, some, uh, now I'll actually say default. I'll hit enter. We'll open that up in Visual Studio. All right, and we'll just see the typical script that we always see. Now, this is using a format. I typically come in here, I'll just format it manually every time. And then depending on if I need to start or whatever, I'll delete it. But let's say that what you really wanted was that. Every single time you come in, you want to get rid of the usings that weren't really being used, the collections. And you didn't want your start and update to be there. If you wanted it, if you needed it, you'd add it yourself later. Um, let's assume this is what you would want. So I'm going to undo that so we can remember exactly what uh, what it was for the default. But what you can do is actually hit over to your C drive or wherever you installed Unity. Um, so typically it'll be your C drive. You might have installed it someplace else. And your program files, wherever and whatever version of Unity you're working with, to editor, to data, to resources, and to script templates, and you're going to end up in this folder. And what you do is you actually come in here and edit any of these script files. And these are just the default um, script files that come with Unity. And in particular, the one that we use most often is the behavior script, the mono behavior. And that's what this one is. At the same time, if you wanted to modify any of these, this is where they exist. But I'm going to right click on this and say edit with Notepad++. And you could edit this with anything you wanted to. I'm using Notepad++ so I can just e easily overwrite this file again. And again, I'm just going to come in here and actually delete those two. Hit enter there. And uh, delete the start. If I wanted to keep the, uh, the uh, update, I might would do that and still keep it private. Right, so if I want to, I can do that. So however you want to do uh, this template, you definitely uh, could do so. So I'm going to hit uh, Control-S to save this. I'm going to hit Yes to run in administration mode. Now I'm going to save it again. And now it's actually saved that because it brought up an administration mode. And that's always why I ran Notepad++. If you don't have Notepad++, um, all you have to do is, let's say you, you made the modifications inside Visual Studio or um, something else, you save that out to a different folder that you have access to and then copy it over here and then let the Windows permissions uh, occur. But now that's done, I come back over here to Unity and um, right click, say uh, create C Sharp script and say um, uh, new template. right? And now we'll open that guy up. And over here in Visual Studio, we have the new template where the we're now on the new line, and we have this private void update because that's what I left it as. But again, you could easily come in here and say, "Well, I don't need I don't need update in there," and have a nice clean uh, class to start off with. So you may already know about that, uh, but just in case you didn't, um, this is something that I have done in the past, and since I have to do it every time I install uh, Unity, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Uh, but it's something I should probably do often. And uh, since I was kind of remind myself about it, I figured I would uh, just make a quick video here and let you know. So I hope you have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next video.